Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup with you today. Look at the dollar right now. We are trading right below the 104 level. We are at 103.99. We're fluctuating between 99 and 98. Folks, let's shift gears here a little bit. I want to bring you over here. We have the Ord-Oracle.com. This is Tim Ord. He has been coming on uh, with Tom for a while now. He just had a webinar earlier this month. It was uh, fantastic, folks. If you if you didn't see that, um, we have all of our archives webinar. <laughs> we have all of our webinars archived. We also archive the webinars. Um, but come over, check out the front page of tfnn.com. That's there as well. Um, it was a fantastic webinar, and uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. Tim Ord, are you with us? Yeah, I'm right here. How you so, doing? Good. Um, Send some charts over. Do we have a time to go over them? We do. We, we can, absolutely do. Um, I'm on chart one right now. We have the uh, equity put call ratio. Yeah, this this is. Um, I did this today, and and so this is actually yesterday's close. But uh, the bottom one is the 21 day average. So that's a whole month of average of equity put call ratio readings, and you get above point uh, seven five at yesterday's close or point seven seven. So that was a whole month of equity put call ratio readings. In other words, they just leaned on the puts for the last month. And so uh, that's bullish. And then one above that is a five-day. And anything above 0 0.8 is 0 0.92 is bullish. So, uh, you know, and the market's been screaming here for the last week, couple of weeks. And it's virtually straight up here. And everybody's still leaning on the put side. And you, and that's... That's a good old going forward. Uh, normally, when they start getting on the call side, you know, danger can happen. But right. we're not we're not seeing that here. Uh, so, uh, people for some reasons, uh, and this is real money trading. This is not like, well, if I had to be in the market, say I'd be bullish or bearish. These are people actually playing the market, and they're leaning on the bearish side. So, similar wise, this is extremely bullish. Sure. So, um, we can go to chart two real quick. Perfect. Um, this is kind of an indicator I uh, showed at my uh, webinar. Uh, the top window is the uh, SPY to VIX ratio. And uh, uh, in the middle window, or the second window down from the top, is, is the VIX. And what's really strange today is the market's up uh, you know, over 2% as we're talking here. And normally, if the market goes up, and the VIX makes a new low, which it is, that's usually a bullish sign. And so uh, the ratio on the top there, it, the only reason why I put it over the SPX, VIX over the S, SPY, rather, because uh, it, it goes in the same direction as the SP. The SPs are going up. This ratio is going up. If it does, then everything is copacetic, I guess you might say. Everything is aligning. But uh, according to the VIX uh, right now, uh, making lower lows or this ratio, SPY VIX making higher highs with the SPs making higher. There's no div negative divergence on a short-term basis. So, uh, you know, a lot of people think, well, this is a gap and crap, they call it. And I don't see it. Uh, I think in general, uh, I thought this week might kind of be a sideways week because we had such a great week last week. But um, right. on a short-term basis here, I'm not seeing anything dangerous. Um, um, so how high is high? I don't know, but go to chart, uh, four. Okay. We're going to skip three. We got four there. And, uh, in my webinars, I always talk about panic uh, to get a bottom. You have to have panic. If you got no panic. They have no bottom. And so, and what's, what's really interesting here, if we go to the far right corner, the bottom window, is a 10-day average of the trend. Mm. And yesterday it closed at 1.19. Anything around 1.2 and higher shows panic in the market. In other words, there's more stocks, uh, high volume on uh, stocks are going down. And that's usually, a, uh, you would think would be a bearish sign, but it's actually bullish. And that's what we have here. Even though the market's gone straight up, all those 10 areas are times when the trend was hitting 1.2 or higher. And they all come near lows. Uh, that's how I picked out that low over in the 2000, 2022 and 2023. You had a lot of that panic in that uh, 365 to 390 on the SPYs. And I suggest we're going to break out to the upside. We did. And we had some panic back in early October, put in a minor low. 
and we didn't really have panic at the um, October 27th low, which is really ironic. But since the market's gone up, now we do have panic. Uh, so, uh, sentiment wise, there's everybody's leaning bearish. Uh, panic wise, everybody's uh, uh, still panicking here. Right. Uh, so I, I'm thinking we we could be breaking out uh, in a big way to the upside. And so, what could that lead to? Let's go to chart five. Yeah. Okay, now this is a big time frame. This is the monthly SPX. And what I'm thinking here is developing is a head and shoulders bottom where the head was uh, October of 2022 low. The left shoulder was early 2022. And we've been screwing around uh, since July until October here. Uh, in my opinion, we're probably making a head and shoulder or the right shoulder of a head and shoulders bottom. Uh, it pretty much did what it's supposed to do. We got the neckline around 4,600, uh, which is noted on the chart there with that yep. dotted line. And uh, to get through that neckline, you need what they call it, it's a sign of strength. Uh, in other words, that's usually big volume and big price movement. And that may be developing here as we're putting on because uh, sentiment wise, I'm not seeing anything really bearish. Uh, we do have panic in the market. Uh, can we just bust through the 4,600? Uh, if we do with a sign of strength, that usually confirms, once you have a sign of strength through the neckline, that really confirms the head and shoulders bottom. And uh, I got a scenario there. Uh, if this is a head and shoulders bottom, it gives an upside target around 5,700 right. on the SP, SPYs. Well, that's about 26% higher than where we are. And I don't know why everybody's leaning bearish here, but. Uh, the stuff I'm looking at, uh, even on the short term and even on the bigger time frame, so far, uh, lean bullish. You know, that may change in the coming weeks. But even on a short term basis here, I'm not seeing any danger. So, um, and next year is election year. Right. And that's usually, that's usually an up year. So, uh, we, we may see, uh, another 20, you know, we're, we're, we're knocking at the, uh, this year, so I think we'll reach 20% this year as far as return, and we may, may uh, reach another 20% next year. So uh, it looks good to me. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And I put these charts in the den as well for anyone who wants to look. I mean, this is these are all really, really insightful charts. No kidding. Yeah. So it's it's just kind of an interesting time. You know, it, um, you know uh, we got bullish back on September uh, 27th, which is basically the day of the low. Mm -hmm. And the market it just doesn't... It, it's really good. Normally, when the market doesn't let anybody in, uh, it usually goes a lot further than what people would anticipate. But the, the VIX, the ticks, matter of fact, as we're, as we're talking here, the market's up 2%, and we got a one point, uh, looks like about 1.2 on the trend. Uh, so, you know, to me, that's going to put the, the 10 day trend somewhere around 1.22. So, that's quite a bit of energy to push that market higher. Definitely. And Tim, listen, we have a we have a short segment after this, but stay with us. I want to go through, uh, I think it was chart two or chart three that we didn't right. go over. So, uh, folks, uh, we'll be right back with Tim Ord. That is Tim Ord of the Ord-Oracle.com. Sit tight. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. We are with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Tim, are you with us still? Yep, I'm right here. Awesome. We're looking at so. chart three. I think that's the one we jumped over. All right, yeah, chart three um, is kind of like, uh, I didn't know we had enough time to get to it, but anyhow, uh, the bottom window is the VIX, and this chart goes back, looks like a couple of years. And normally when the VIX is below 17, we're coming in, when I made this chart, I made a chart today, it's 1409. A lot of times when the VIX is below 17, the market is in the trending mode. And uh, so I shaded that, all that area, uh, when it's below 17, and and so, you know, going into that 2022 high, most of that time, the VIX was below 17, and uh, that rally that started in, in uh, I don't know, May, June of last, or this year, it got below uh, 17, kind of stayed there, and now we're back below it again. So it's a good chance uh, we could be in the trending market, Um you can kind of see that head and shoulders pattern there. Right. If you look over uh, to the early 2022, you see I drew a blue line and a red dotted line there. Uh, so, you know, 
this would make sense. You know, the right shoulder is about equal to the left shoulder and all this other stuff. So it looks pretty good. And we're actually having a sinus drink uh, right before we're hitting the uh, neckline. Neckline, again, is around 4,600 4, on the SPX. But I wanted to point out, uh, yesterday on the SP, SPX, we're testing the previous high of uh, October. And now we jumped above it. I wanted to point out, if you look at the BBIX to VIX ratio, uh, it was making higher highs when we were testing the previous highs on the S&Ps. And that would suggest that we're going to break through the previous highs of we had in mid-October. And sure enough, we did. We broke out today. So that's one I wanted to point out there. So, Fantastic. Uh, Tim, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, you'll be on Thursday. Always great having you on. Thank you. Folks, that was Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Again, that is ord-oracle.com. Go check him out. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we'll see if Tom is back tomorrow. Uh, again, Larry's webinar tomorrow at 8 a.m. to noon Eastern time. Sign up for it. Folks, have a great rest of your day.